Oh, yeah. Well, good morning. Good morning, little Princess Pickle. Having a bad hair day. How are you? Oh, how are we this morning? Hey, we good. Gorgeous little one. Gorgeous little girl. <laughs> I um, have only just stopped <laughs> to make myself some lunch, which is a really lazy lunch, but I've been craving it ever since I went. Honestly, Olive is not so crying today. I swear all you hear in my vlogs is Olive crying and me moaning. I mean, I'm so glad to have you here. <laughs> so I'm putting a lot of pepper on things at the minute because of my taste. Um, but I've just got egg, pasta, fresh pasta, and the tomato and mascarpone sauce, and then half a ball of buffalo mozzarella because I've craved it ever since I've been to Zizi. So my mouth's watering, I'm gonna enjoy this with the dulcet tones of Olive in the background, Sean, Sean trying to like soothe her. But yeah, I'm just gonna scoff this now. Sean has just gone in to get his chip shop. <laughs> this chip shop in Summershin is like the best chip shop around here, even though there's nowhere to park, you have to just like pull up. Um, it's so, so good, I'm so excited. So like today I can slightly taste things. So that's why I was like, we are going to the chippy. We're going to get something nice. We're gonna have a really early night tonight. I don't know what my hair is doing. Hang on, I don't have any light in this car. There we go, now you can see the barnet in all its glory. Just like clipped it up today because we were loading the car ready for the boot sale and we're gonna have to go to bed really early. Um, tonight because I think we have to be up at like four or five o'clock in the morning so I <sighs> can't wait for that and the weather is miserable so it better cheer up Sean's already like oh it's gonna be um waterlogged field and I'm like well it is what it is and then we're going to my friend Gemma's afterwards for lunch and we're gonna look like absolute trash so that'll be good won't it I mean what awful weather for coronation day it's just miserable. Fish looks yummy in there. He's got the goods. Woo! He's got the goodies. You still feeling crap? Yeah. Standard. Someone's ready for bed. This little superstar. Olive! Say hello! It is 5.30. I've woken up feeling worse than I went to bed. It's just great this. I've got shredded, frosted shredded wheat in my tea. It's a glamorous day. It is a glamorous day. The car is wedged full to the brim and we are ready to make some money for little Lolly's playroom. The things you do. We've never done a car boot the whole time we've been together, have we? Ever. We just let junk build up and up and up and now that little madam needs a playroom it's like right well there's only one thing for it a boot sale so um yeah the things we do for our little children i wouldn't even mind i'm not even gonna get like some nice clothes or design a handbag out this this is going towards little madam's pastel palace of dreams so um yeah she better appreciate this um i've been on the hunt this morning on face bay um to try and find some like free or like discounted bits and bobs because i've been doing that since i found out i was pregnant much to sean's disgust he was like why are you buying a ball pit why are you buying um a play kitchen and little stool i was like because this is a bargain and when she's here we'll have no money and i'm so glad that we did because now we've got kind of most things that we need to start the playroom and loads of little bits that we probably would have spent a fortune on we've managed to get for free or very 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 cheap so we're on our way to our friends oh it's pigeons in the road move why are they not moving i love that sean nearly causes a crash to save two pigeons i kind of admire it kind of think you wally um we're going to my friend nadia's she lives in Doddington, Nadia and Jason, and they're helping us with our boot sale today. I've got a feeling that we're not, well, I'm surprised how light it is for 5.30 in the morning, but um, I've got a feeling we're gonna be late 
to theirs because it's difficult when you have to sort a baby and yourself um, before a boot sale. And then after that, after we've done the boot sale, we're going to Gemma and Jamie's for a barbecue. So it's going to be a good day. Fingers crossed, we'll make loads of money and we'll be a lot lighter on the way home. Hi, it is now, what time are we on? Half 11 and sorry, lighting is so bad here. It's making me look like I've got <laughs> crazy bags. So we've just finished the boot sale. We did all right. We sold 250 pounds worth of stuff. We've still got quite a lot of things. Um, I thought more baby stuff would sell than it did. God, I look like I'm ready to drop. Waking up for 4am, not recommended. Also, my sinuses have just blocked. I feel like really cotton woolly headed. It's awful. Honestly, I was the picture of health. God, I'm not finding a good light here. I was the picture of health before I had Olive. And since I've had Olive, I've just been one thing after another after another. So yeah, I feel really cotton woolly. Um, I don't know if it's a mixture of hay fever in with it, but um, I just texted Gemma and she said the same thing. She was like, oh, I felt crap yesterday. So um, yeah, we're gonna head to Gemma and Jamie's now. Um, what is going on with this eye? It's the shade, it's the shade, guys. Um, we're gonna head to Gemma and, J J Jamie. Gemma and Jamie's now. Sean's just in Morrison's getting some little bits, even though they said, do you don't need to bring anything? But um, I can never turn up empty handed to someone's barbecue. Uh, we're going to have a lovely barbecue, a nice relaxing afternoon. Um, hopefully this will, like it's that blocked, it's squeaking, you know? Like and I sound like, this is your captain speaking, we're now departing. It's awful. I'm so fed up, it's making my eyes look like they're half asleep as well, so it's not good. But hey ho, I'm going to stop moaning on now and um, see and wait for Sean to get back. Last time, if you put the plug in, she doesn't Come on Tilly, yes. When she knows you're Diva watching, cat. she stops. Have you ever seen anything so extra in your life? I like how the water like sits on her paw. It doesn't. Have it's like a duck, hair. isn't it? Oh, look at her. It's a lot yeah, of effort, Tilly. Her head under it just rolls off her cheeks. Oh, it's like a sad music video. <laughs> oh, Tilly. I Everyone's moaning that I got all the Maltesers. You did! I'm sorry! <laughs> How did you get two? I got two. Everyone else got two. I'm sorry. Two I'm really five. sorry. I'm Not sorry. I didn't theory. even choose it. Jamie oh, gave it to me. It's your fault. <laughs> so, it is Bank Holiday Monday. I've just done a little live. Sean's just seeing if he can get us booked in to Arbuckles. I don't want to get my hopes up too much because it might be a no. Little Miss Olive. <laughs> Hello, baby. It's in her car seat. She's been so good whilst I did a quick live. On to, oh, I've got hair on my face. And I hope, like I say, hopefully we can go for lunch somewhere. Not sure though. Yeah, hi. Um, have you got a table available in about half an hour for two people? And a baby. He said yeah. two people. And a baby. Oh. I've got a little baby as well. So I'm I think we're gonna try these. Sean's gonna go for that, and I'm gonna have this with no bacon. Mm. 
Looks like a little chicken foot, doesn't it? Sean um, was not very well yesterday when we did the boot set. He sat in the car the whole time. Um, this is the first day he's felt mildly okay, so we're out for lunch. He's having his lime soda because he can't have any caffeine or any alcohol. And we've got tempura vegetables. Oi! I have food and the yours looks you look you're well excited about you. <laughs> it's like yeah. Oh my god, yeah. It is time to change the wreath. This is, I can't actually believe that we're in May and I've still got my Easter egg. Sean's halted on the stairs, he's like, <laughs> stop. Um, I can't believe I've still got an Easter egg wreath here. It's so embarrassing, but it's about to change in five, four, three, two, one. And um, now that I've put this up, I've realized how ugly it is. It's been like scrunched in a box. So, Operation Make New Summer Wreath will commence this week for sure. I'm gonna do a video. This this will just not do, will it? <laughs> but it's better than the eggs. Hello everybody. Excuse the red face. I've just put, um, well, I've come back from being at the unit and I put a little quick spray tan on. So it doesn't look like it on here, but I'm like a weird greeny shade because the tan's slightly gone off in the spray tan machine because I've not you I didn't use it the whole time I was pregnant. But I just thought I'd pick the camera up because it's been a while. Um, I'm just about to make Oliver bottle and I thought I would just, I might show you my process. For, oh God, look at them. They're awful. My greys have been horrendous since I've had Olive. Like they were bad anyway, but they are really bad. Gosh, I've got no makeup on my face, just tan and it's, ugh. Um, so I thought while I'm marinating, what I'll do is I'll make, I'll do my my roots and then once everything's ready to wash off together that'll be just the best solution ever um because then i'm all prepped for the weekend i think um we might hmm i'm toying with the idea of going to the coast on sunday doing something nice because the weather looks so good um we've got a eurovision little um party at my friend's house on saturday night we're not massive eurovision fans but we love the party that my, my my friend really is and every year she does a party and it's just like a banging party it's just always so good the food is amazing she's one of those friends where it's just like they go the extra mile and the effort that they put in is amazing so hi nikki if you're watching this so I'm definitely going to film that and Olive's going. I did try and find her a little Eurovision outfit but was not very successful. But yeah, I thought I'd just come on and tell you, like catch up with you because like I say, I will show you. It looks like I'm going bald here but it's not. It's just the greys. So I'll show you how I do it at home if you like um, and the quantities are mixed up and so it might actually help you save a bit of money because it's much better than using a box dye. So yeah, I just thought I'd come on and catch up and check in because... I don't know where we are with this week's vlog, to be honest with you. Could be good, could be bad. I'll probably think it's bad. And then when I put it together, I'm like, oh, not, it's not so shoddy after all. Gonna do a quick and easy dinner tonight. Um, I've got this pecorino and black pepper sauce, which is a creamy one. Um, I'm gonna do it with chicken breast, which we've defrosted. Some Jersey Royals and carrots. I was gonna do broccoli but it's gone, <laughs> it's gone, it, it's gone belly up, basically, we've left it in there too long, but I'm not gonna waste it, I'm gonna cook it up, and Madame, Madame, Madame Grace is gonna benefit from that, she can have some broccoli with her dinner, because you love it, don't you? <laughs> she loves anything that feels human. Go on then, show them your belly. Yes, yes, show them your sexy belly. <laughs> Yes, a little cupcake. She's like, I'm getting broccoli tonight. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes, I just wanna feel alive, it's just
just what I do when I'm out. So try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna drive. veg is ready uh, well ready to be put on and I'm just gonna put the chicken in the oven now um, I'm debating whether to go and put my hair dye on now whilst that's got 30 minutes yeah I'm debating whether to go put it on whilst the food is sort of doing its thing to be honest right so Dinner is in the oven, and I'm gonna take five minutes whilst Sean's dealing with crying Olive downstairs to dye my roots. This is what it's like being a mum. I can honestly say, I never used to really believe people when they were like, oh, um, you never get any time as a mum to do anything. Make the most of it now. Please, if you take one thing from this video, make the most of your time you have right now to get things done for yourself, because trust me, God knows what I did with my time before I had babies. So. I've got a 20 vol here, which is for the lift. You can get all these things, I think, from like, um, from, what do you call it, Amazon, I'm pretty sure. Um, I got these from Sally's. Um, a bowl and a brush. And then I use Majorelle. Again, this is from Amazon. I do have an account at a beauty place, but you can get it there too. I use five and six. So I use six with a smidge of five. I will show you. Um, and that is really it. Much better than a box dye. I'm really sorry if this is badly filmed, but I forgot my tripod and I am not going downstairs because Olive, <laughs> well, if I just... Yeah, steer clear of that one for a little bit. Right, so I just put a smidge of five in. Um, I'll show you how much. I do it all by eye, because I used to actually colour people's hair back in the day. Um, a tiny smidge. This is only really to do my roots. <laughs> so I'm not going crazy. And then the six, I put a lot more in. But you can get proper measurements, like, on the tube and in the packaging. I remember it being so like half a tube or quarter of a tube to 75 mils and then I put quite a bit of the six in. Well, probably won't need that much because my hair is falling out. Um, so I'd say like a quarter, maybe just over a quarter of the tube. And then, then I just put a generous glug of this. So that's how much color I've got in there. And then I just put a good old glug of the developer in there again i do it by eye it's terrible really you can get little measuring cups and stuff and then basically <laughs> you might already know all how to do this but so many people are like how do you dye your hair at home like with salon quality stuff and i'm like this is how my roots come through way too often for me to um i actually talk to you oh god look like an egg um for me to be paying hairdresser to do it every like three four weeks my roots, my roots are really bad at the moment. You can probably see, hopefully on cat. Well, hopefully, not hopefully. Um, and also because my hair is thinning now, because I look so red. I am so sorry. What a mess. Um, because basically the hair is falling out now. I want to make it look as thick as possible. So like this area here, my hairline does start here, but it's just so grey. It makes it look even worse. So I'm gonna mix it up, and I'll kind of show you how I apply it if I can without my tripod. <laughs> so your consistency should kind of be like that i do not know what is going on downstairs by the way i think um he's making a bottle and olive is not prepared to wait um so yeah that's the sort of consistency and i'm gonna go in and start doing around my hairline first so i'll show you that if i can the other ca cameras make me look so red <laughs> it's awful right so just quickly showing you before I crack on with the rest of it so that's probably way too much on my brush i know it is actually so whilst my hair is still up i go around my hairline so it's a really bad angle because i literally like i say have forgot my tripod downstairs i only said forehead then <laughs> forgot my forehead my forehead looks very shiny on here so this is where i get the most of my gray so i will pack the color on there because it's the worst bit really 
Um, go along there. Ugh, get the hair in my eye, which is awesome. Um, yeah, so basically you want to go all around your hairline. I mean, if you've got someone that can do this for you, even blooming better. Sometimes Jazz will do this for me. Um, because then what you can do is go around all the hair like, like oh, it's going to be difficult to show you. Pin the ear back. I get a lot of greys behind my uh, ear as well. So pop that there. And I don't really tend to get a lot of greys yet at the back. I'm sure that will change. But yeah, basically go all around your hairline. And then we are going to do, so basically, ta-da, it's not a very good angle. I'm really sorry if you're trying to see what I'm doing. It should be quite self-expansion. I'm sure there's videos on here, much better. And then I release the beast. <laughs> Obviously, I've got like blonde down the bottom, so I do have to be very careful. But then like I clean my brush and then what, I call it the hot cross bun. So I always do this bit first and then quarter it and then go like in between and do all the other little block. Oh this is this is the best I have ever looked. So yeah, I basically go down my part in, then split it that way, and then start doing little sections. And it literally only takes about 15, 20 minutes. And then that's me sorted for around three, four weeks. And there is Duna. Very basic. But yummy, I'm sure. Okay. Right, so every single week on a Wednesday we do Where's Olive Wednesday. Oh, and I'll probably get copper in. So this is Olive's um, Where's Olive Wednesday. She was, we just stick her little face on a little landmark and then we get people to sort of like guess where she is. And this week she was at, are we ready for it? Where do you think she was? Hi guys, so you got a fun again. I was at Thai food, hello. Uh, Thai food, look having fun on the Lazy River. That's Olive's voice, uh, just in case you're wondering. Says, if we sell loads of chocolate, I can go to Disney World, so... <laughs> so, yeah, thanks. Please buy our chocolate. Please buy our chocolate. You can't say no if I don't Bye. Oh, hit them with the emotional blackmail. Gonna give you a weather update as well because I'm just so sick of England at the minute. So, ignore the poo bags. It's been gorgeous today, but over there, I don't know if my camera is picking up, it looks like black clouds. It's definitely going to rain. Look at it. You just can't like organize things. Um, I mean, look how look, it's a forest. I think the last time I checked in, we had no grass, now it's like a swamp. So Sean is going to slowly but surely cut the grass, bless him, because like I say, he's not doing very well with like physical activities at the moment. Um, and we've still got the stones to put in at the back and loads of weeds coming through. So I love my life right now. The hot tub needs a good clean. Everything just needs sorting. Um, I just wish I lived in a hot country that was just consistent because I feel like you take these covers off, you put them on, you take them off. It can just never be a nice garden, can it? It has to be back and forth all the time. She's trumping. Today, Olive has found her voice. I might have to insert a um, a phone clip of her if she won't do it now. Olive, you found your voice, didn't you? She's been doing all sorts of cooey noises. Olive, Olive. I wish I could sit her like this. Only Sean seems to do it, can do it because his legs are long enough, but um, I try and it does not work. <laughs> are we gonna get anything out of you, Olive? Hey, gorgeous girl. You don't look very gorgeous when you're frowning. You gotta smile. Oh gosh, so she's got a ball patch. I was promised it's not in real life, guys. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. A ball patch, close to me. No, at the back side. <laughs> a ball patch.
Hello. 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 Hello, gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Dada. Yeah, Dada. Dada, Dada, Dada. So, I have been after a playhouse like this for such a long time and one has come up in Peterborough and I'm so excited about it for £20. So obviously I don't, w I know Olive is way too small <laughs> for it but this is going to be my little project and I thought it would make an amazing video to show you how I'm going to do it all up. Um, obviously I don't want it like this, I don't want it pink. Um, I'll show you what I want it actually like on my Pinterest. Um, not like that, that's a bed. Um, where is it? So, they do it a lot in America where they like sort of do them up. But like this sort of vibe, it's so easy to do. Well, I say it's easy to do. You can watch me tear my hair out when we get it, hopefully. Um, we just need to figure out how to get it here because me and Sean both have very small boot openings. <laughs> Sounds like a euphemism, doesn't it? But, um, yeah, it just makes the cutest little playhouse look, what you can turn it into. Um, obviously this is the beige version. Um, but yeah, look, it's so pretty and I, like, I really cannot wait to, like, transform it. It's like a nice little project for me. Happy Friday, just filmed a little video which is the like talking part of the try on section of my ASOS haul. My hair is so thin guys, like for me this is thin so I just clipped it back. I'm having a meltdown. So most people would just say chop it off, chop it off but my hair has been my identity and I'm sorry to sound like a broken record but I am traumatised by my hair falling out like this. Like, I'm really concerned um, about it, but I'm gonna try and just pretend everything's fine. Anyway, I'm gonna show you, when I went to Cambridge with Jasmine, like two weeks ago, I think it was. Don't even remember how long it was. Um, I did pick up some bits that I didn't show you, like anybody, um, but I was gonna do like a haul, but I was like, it's not big enough to do a haul, so here's what I bought, because they're too cute not to share, and I love a haul like a mini haul so um i'm gonna show you what i got so this is what i picked up random bits just really really random i'm oh, just watching two pigeons scrap outside from tk maxx i don't think i included it in my video because i filmed it on my phone and i'm kind of like annoyed that i've missed loads of footage do not laugh right but I was umming and ahhing about this product, this product, this item in TK Maxx. And you know when you think about something and you think, if I'm gonna f like regret buying, not buying it when I get home, you should probably grab it. It's very heavy. I don't want it in gold. And I feel like this is a designer dupe because I follow a girl on Instagram who always puts these up um, and the block teddy bears. And whenever they, they get put up, they disappear. It's like a balloon dog. It was £20, and that's what put me off. I was like, oh, it is so not worth that. However, I had an image, and I've got a vision for it, and you're probably thinking, how awful is that, Tiff? You're either going to love it or hate it. It's a Marmite product. <laughs> it's a Marmite thing. Why do I keep calling it a product? Anyway, it's a Marmite, it's a Marmite thing. Um, I'm in work mode, clearly. Um, my, my vision is to spray paint it like a bubblegum pink for Olive's playroom because I'm in playroom mode. I think I told you that. I'm gonna show you the whole process, what I do and everything. Um, but yeah, I wanna get her playroom done for her. Goodness me, why did I not get these things out before the haul? Um, I always grab when I go to, just tell me what you think of it. I think it's gonna look really cute. Um, if not, what a waste of 20 quid. But I had some vouchers. So 
they were my birthday vouchers that I've used on other people, shock horror. Um, I always grab when I go into HomeSense or TK Maxx, birthday cards. I know I'm going to weddings. You know, you just think they do the cutest cards and they're actually cheaper. They're like £1.75, um, much cheaper than normal card shops and the cards are nicer. They give me like Paper Chase vibes, RIP Paper Chase. So yeah, that's, I just grabbed those and I just put those away in a cupboard, um, a drawer, sorry. And then when it's someone's birthday, I know I've got a decent card. Um, then I'm gonna show you the clothes that I got. So, I got this really cute, I can't wait for her to wear this. I did buy it in a, I think I got six to nine months because the actual, yeah, six to nine, the size that that would have worked for Olive at the moment was like really short. I was like, she'll look like a little floozy. But this is from Next, it was 16 pounds and it's these gorgeous embroidered little daisies. Um, and I love lemon, like it's one of my favourite colours, like it's just so pretty. So I got that, there was a lovely gingham like olive dress in there for Olive <laughs> that I really wanted but they didn't have her size so I'm going to keep an eye open for that because I've got some vouchers for next. Um, then I went into Zara which I normally avoid because I find it really expensive, however I don't think these things that I picked up from Zara are too bad. Um, so I got this little bodysuit with a feminine frilly little collar, could not resist. And then, I think I've told you, I've got two sides of me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hang on a minute. There's going to be more. <coughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so, I have two sides of me. Either really, like, pretty, feminine, neutral, or ultimate tack. And I just, I love these colours. I just love lilac and lemon together. I think it's really pretty. So I got those little shorts. They were, how much were you? $7.99 and I got nine to 12 months because again, like her actual, I don't know if they did these in any smaller actually, but um, I just thought by the time the summer rolls around, I know that they'll fit nicely. And then this little strawberry top, I still need to find something to go with them. I don't know what I'm going to get because they had some leggings in there but they weren't the right colour pink um, or some like sage green ones and that was $7.99 and again that's 9 to 12 months however I think that looks tiny and that will probably fit Olive in the next month or two so ready for summer so yeah they're my little clothes and um, I've also got the mattress ready with the mattress topper and protector ready for Olive um, to be honest I feel like she might be ready for her cot but I'm definitely not ready, which is pathetic, isn't it? But, um, yeah, I just feel like she's growing very, at a very, very fast rate. And she kind of needs her own space. Like, it, she keeps waking herself up with her, like, arms on the side of the cot, but, like, the next to me. But I'm just not ready at all to let her sleep on her own yet. So I'm going to put these away. Um, I was going to do a wreath. However, I don't have enough eucalyptus, so I'm going to have to buy some more supplies. So that ruins today's video idea. So it's quite late in the day now, but we've decided we're going to head out and um, pop to. We're not going to do a food shop today, we've decided, because we're, we're out and about this weekend. I think it will just go to waste. So we're going to pop to Dunelm as a fan. Pop to Dunelm. Um, I've seen something, I need some bits of my wreaths basically. And then I think we're gonna do a quick little drive through dinner because we have no food in. That was the reason the food shop was needed. But um, like I say, I think a lot of it's gonna end up going on. Like if you're not home for the weekend, I think it's just such a waste. So um, that's what we're gonna do. Taking you with me, as always. I have gone for a Subway wrap. If you were interested, I have roast chicken, mozzarella, melted. Don't ever get the wrap toasted, it disintegrates. It just falls apart. Red onion, lettuce, sweet corn, mm -mm -mm. Um, and Sean has gone for Chicken Royale, which I do actually want to buy off now. And this is the worst Burger King in the world. Every time we come here, which is a lot, um, they forget our chilli cheese bites. And then we got served by the most rude girl in the world today, um, to the point where I was just like, so we ordered cheese bites again, and then they forgot them. And they're like, oh, you have to drive back around. I was like, no. I never want to deal with that woman again. Like, she's a young girl and she's just so rude. Um, we had like our loyalty thing to scan. She was like, what's that? And I was like, a voucher, loyalty thing. 
It's just so rude. There's no need for it. Imagine hating your job that much. You can't relate. Yeah, so now I, I'm still craving chili cheese bites. But little Haspula, as we call her, is asleep. We call her Haspula because we think she looks like him when she's... Is she snoring? Yeah. Oh, She looks like him when she's... <laughs> set up right. Oh, Olive. See, she's given us peace and quiet so we can enjoy our nutritious meal. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I had to get Olive changed very early. Normally we let her sleep in her little sleep suit, but um, she wet through it, didn't you? I think we need bigger nappies for night time. Um, I'm just having some boisson <laughs> uh, on bagels and a cup of tea. Basically, I have to have really strong taste at the minute just to get any flavour from my food. So, yeah, stinky way to start the day. Today, I am getting evils from the child, which is quite ironic considering... Oh, you're the one who made mummy's hair fall out. I should be giving you evils, but I give you kisses and love. She's cranky. She's, like I say, the teeth. The teeth issue, isn't it? Daddy's waiting for your milk to cool down. Oh dear, oh dear. You've you've got a crying face like mummy. You have. Why are you sad? Hey, the people on the vlog want to see Smiley Olive. Is that not? Oh dear, not today, Satan. Look at them gorgeous little thigh rolls. Oh dear. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You're tired, I can tell by your eyes, Pickle. 